God compares an akazu so that my household can be full. So when a principality brings government, you need another agent to compare people to come. You can build a church, but to be empty. Ah. So what will you say to a young minister that doesn't actually have anyone? I mean, there's some people that they just uh, hit. Maybe they did one thing, you know, one small thing. You know. mm -hmm. They finally got visa, got to UK, did one program. As is then, they don't <laughs> even talk to anybody anymore once they came back. It's a terrible thing. <laughs> it's a terrible Even Paul, the great apostle, in Galatians chapter 2, verse 2, he said, I went up to Jerusalem by revelation. What did he go to do? To submit what he had received from God to the apostles. He says, so that he will not run in vain. Mm. Meanwhile, in chapter 1, from verse 13 to 16, mm -hmm. he said, the gospel I preach, no man taught me. Mm. I received it from God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But in chapter 2, from verse 2, he said, I went to revelation, to re Jerusalem by yeah, revelation. By revelation yeah. And he said, he saw Peter and James. And he presented the gospel God gave him. It was then they gave him a hand of fellowship. So everybody, no matter how mighty you are, there must be somebody you yes, talk to. Yeah. If you don't have a father, and I'm not going into that subject now, it's yes, a very sir. complex subject. It's a, yeah, because yeah. there are those who are in systems that are regulated by the governing system. Yes, sir. There must be somebody. Even our fathers today who are patriarchs, mm -hmm. they are friends that they call. Yes, sir. There's this issue, there's this issue. You must be under some level of accountability. Yes, sir. That's the first level of insurance that everybody has. When I went to Abuja, I had to go and see Dr. Paul. Today, if there's any issue, I did that deliberately so right. that if there's something that I'm not seeing, let somebody be able to call me and say, why did you say this? Yeah. Why did yeah. you do this? Yeah. So that you can also go back and evaluate what you're saying. <laughs> so before you say the Holy Ghost helped you, the presence of God helped you, there must be a, a, a human figure. Who okay. should be able to talk to you. If you don't have, you should be deliberate. Have somebody who you know loves you and who can tell you the truth and is not afraid of your face. I love that, sir. I love that, sir. All right. So, um, I mean, I could have you here the whole day. What would you tell your younger self? <laughs> don't your be, your eighteen year old self. Don't be in a hurry. <laughs> it's better to be late hey. <laughs> than to move too fast. Okay. I discovered that <laughs> people who are cerebral, yes, sir. they tend to get ahead of themselves. You sit down, somebody's mm -hmm. talking, you already mm -hmm. know where he's going to. Yeah. As far as you are concerned, he's wasting time. Yeah, I you, you are just in a rush. <laughs> but the Bible says, follow them who through faith and patience obtain okay. the promise. Hey. I've been, uh, all my life, speed, speed, speed. So, do, you, <laughs> do you like driving then? I drive on very high speed. Ah, <laughs> please, so sir. If I would speak to my younger self, three <laughs> things I would tell myself is, and of course, I'm still working on it, trusting okay. God to help me. Okay. Don't get ahead of yourself. Yeah. Allow God to take you. God works with me very fast. Mm -hmm. And that's why I have to be careful not to be in a rush. Okay. Number two, sustain humility. Hmm. Because that's the key for exhortation. Hey. Because when I was growing up, I was so bold, so vocal. And because I felt I knew one or two things, mm -hmm. I don't really think I need anybody or yeah, anything. Yeah. I know better now. <laughs> you need men. You need God. You need you need a lot of you are you you need a lot of people and a yes, lot sir. of help. Yes, sir. So sustain the disposition of humility. I and like then that. finally, always ask God for mercy and wisdom. Oh. Because if you've done everything, what will really be your greatest insurance is the mercy of God. Hmm. I know it's wanting to meet certain standards that God has prescribed. I understand yeah. process. Yeah. But I tell you, over and above it all, what mm. makes everyone come out strong is the mercy it's of the God. the mercy of God. So I will always tell myself, if I ask God for mercy 15, 20 years ago, probably I would have been a better person now. Ah. So patience, humility, and mercy are I the like things that. I would I would have sounded a thousand times into my younger version. <laughs> Well, we give God praise. <laughs> Have you ever felt discouraged at any time? And then how do you pull yourself up? Um, because sometimes, even in this system that we, we are in, I've tried to fight mm. some fights. I'm mm. sure you probably heard some things on some social media that they said that I caught some people something or anyway. And um, I got suspended by the same system I was defending. Um, and that was my second suspension. 
the first one too was for the same mission, but it's just wonderful. And at that point, I'm like, you know, I just, I won't even like, I just sat back like, you know, well, let me just watch you. But, you know, the Bible says that if you know what is good and you are not doing it, mm. you too, you're as guilty yes. as those who are doing bad things. Yes. So I'm like, oh, man, I need to come back in. But in situations that you've been discouraged, how did you? Yes, so that somebody would learn, maybe I just give you three real life situations and I'll make it very fast. But before I say that, I say that I came, I've come to realize in my life that the lessons I never forget mm -hmm. are the ones I learned in difficult times. Mm -hmm. Most of the things I learned mm -hmm. in the place of excitement, joy, I've forgotten them. But most of the difficult times of my life, I can recite them. They are still teaching me to date. So I've come to that point where I still thank God for the difficulties in life. First one is um, when my mom died. That was in 2010, 13 years ago. I loved God, passionate, praying, you know, trusting God that everything was possible. Mm -hmm. In fact, those were the times when we're going from churches to churches, preaching, doing all forms of choreography and everything. And then my mom that I knew to have been an intercessor all her life, suddenly fell sick briefly and died. It so broke me that I was so bitter with God. Hmm. I went back into the world. To me, I wanted to do something that would pain God. Hmm. Went into alcoholism, started clubbing. And it was a terrible one year from 2010 to 2011. And I said, I gave this illustration to say something. There are certain discouragements you will get into hmm. that you can't help yourself. God will send somebody else to help you. To help you. For that phase of my life, God sent somebody to pull me out. Hmm. And I'm ever grateful for it. Hmm. The second discouragement was in 2017 when my only brother died. Mm -hmm. uh, hmm. I did all the praying. I did all the fasting. I sowed seeds. I brought men of God to pray for him. I was fasting throughout the period. He still died. It was like an arrow thrust into my soul. I wept for months. Hmm. I wept. It broke me. The scriptures didn't make sense. Hmm. Nothing made sense to me. And I would go to lonely places and just wept. Played some songs and I will just be crying. Because that was the only thing I could do. Mm -hmm. But God in his benevolence began to encounter me again. And it was a fresh encounter altogether. The energy and passion yes, with sir. which I drive today yes, was gotten from that encounter. Oh, wow. You know, sometimes when we push the way we push, some people mm -hmm. look at us, they think it's ambition. Okay. Some people look at us, they think it's zeal, it's, it's a fleshly zeal, yeah. or it's desire yeah. for. No. That, the death of my brother, took everything from me. So, from that period, what I came out from that encounter with is that. All I need for is one thing, to please God and to do the will of God and to get back at the devil. Yeah. So I want to win as much souls I can, as I can win per day. Okay. I want to see thousands delivered as much as possible. I don't want to hear anybody who fell sick and died. Mm. So something, man, a holy vexation mm -hmm. was activated in my spirit. So the second discouragement, I came out by the mercy of God and encounters. And it's because I was honest to God. In my brokenness, I told him I was disappointed. I told him I was pained. I kept weeping. But he reached into the very deep recesses of my soul and he delivered me. A third one happened about three years ago. Okay. Where I was serving, a lot of controversies came up. People lied, said a lot of things. And so many things went sour. I defended myself. I apologized. I begged. Four times I went to kneel down to beg. This is not so hard to explain myself. Yeah. And everything. And things boom around. And I sat down. I said, in the course of this service. Now, when my brother died in 2017. Yeah. My brother died on the 18th. On the 19th, I still went back to the Bible school to do impartation. <laughs> That's to give you an idea of the level of service. <laughs> I didn't receive the grace because God was biased. My heart was genuine. And mm -hmm. I served it all my life. <laughs> My brother died. I was broken. I didn't even shower. I was the one who went to take him to the mortuary. Because died around 3 p.m. Mm -hmm. And then I returned back the next day. 
to still do impartation because that week I was the one teaching the Bible school. In fact, he was in coma for five days. All through the time he was in coma, I was teaching from morning to evening. I would go to the hospital in the night, sleep in the hospital, come back in the morning. Just to give you an idea, the level of commitment and service. The same me is the one everybody's lying against, everybody's talking against. I will go, they will say this, I will go and need and apologize. <laughs> I will be forgiven. <laughs> they will say another one, I will go and need and apologize. And it continued like that until everything boomerangs. If I had my powers, I wouldn't mm-hmm. have wanted it to go that way. Yeah. I became so bitter, not with the man of God, but with the whole people around. What have I done to you? I so see to all of you. Yeah. I respect all of you. And yeah. every day, everybody wants me to go down. What did I do? It broke me so much that a people you call brothers and family, you are talking to somebody, they raise a, a situation. You are explaining your own part. They record it. They go and edit it, take to authority. And this is what you said. <laughs> I said, what kind of, is this church? Is this the house of God? Oh, God. So, it <laughs> pierced into me. In fact, there was a time, it started affecting my, my messages. Until the Holy Ghost started to tell me, your priesthood will be corrupt. Hmm. He said, this is revival. Hmm. And one of the things that happened in revival is separation. Hmm. And he started showing me scriptures. How Paul and Barnabas separated. How they, so it's either persecution will separate you, or disagreement will separate you, or the Holy Ghost himself will come and say, separate unto me. But by all means, there must be separation for revival to happen. Hmm. Paul and Barnabas argued because of John Mark. Not because they had problem, but John Mark was the issue. Mm-hmm. In the Jerusalem church, persecution scattered them. That yes. was how Philip went to Samaria. Yes, sir. And in the church in Antioch, the Holy Ghost himself came and said, separate unto me, Paul and Barnabas. He says, so that the many expressions mm-hmm. of the graces that are needed for that revival can find expression. So, it's not a personal thing. He's a, this is a man of God. He loves you. I've used him to, to impart your life. You are a servant of God. You love him. You honor him. But it's a necessity for the work of God to spread. So mm-hmm. there's nothing personal about it. The problem is the people who allow themselves to be used of the devil, yeah. they would have lost so much from God because they have allowed bitterness, they have allowed pride, they have yeah. allowed all sorts of things yeah. to enter into them. And so I now eventually began to pray because I know we are all one in the body of Christ. But that's one very serious issue. And you know the worst part? You yeah. can't explain yourself in these things. Yeah. Hey. Because the more you talk, the more you are wrong. Yes. So we just kneel down and just... <laughs> you just pray, you <laughs> just cry, and you just ask the Lord to help you. Ah, it's like we are living parallel lives on another side. Uh, <laughs> uh, that, that. I was the one who went to bring my brother at mm. some point. I mean, it's ah. all, all as in, yeah. Not yeah. to make sense. Yeah. And then, you know, when other pastors are intentionally hoping you fail, I, I still didn't get that. Like, what do you benefit from? And then the set man is put in a tight corner. Yeah. Everybody's saying all sorts of things, and these things are not true. And they said, Man, or they are taking out my of father. context in this case, they are taken out of context. And then you are watching, you there's nothing, you just feel the pains, you just have to endure the pains. I mean, now in our own situation, they will, you, you're allowed to raise your hand, permission to speak, it will be like denied. <laughs> so you can so, uh, well anyway thank you sir i mean you've done this is confession that you have done yes sir, without water. knowing this is full blow confession zero that water. you've done yes sir um so on on the slightly on the other side what kind of gift would you want for your next birthday ah <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> you're allowed to ask two things one can be spiritual the other one is not allowed to be spiritual okay um <laughs> Honestly, just in case our sponsors are watching. Honestly, there's a level of power I want I've not seen in our generation. Hmm. So much wisdom, so much excellence, yes, sir. so much intelligence. Yes, sir. But this is not how the fathers did it. No, no, sir. No, there sir. There's a level of power we have not seen. Thank God we go for meetings once mm-hmm. in a while. Mm-hmm. Somebody drops crunchy, somebody mm-hmm. is walking, two mm-hmm. more vanishes. Mm-hmm. But there's a way the fathers possessed certain dimensions in God that you know they have it. I desire to have that tangible expression of God so that when we speak about God audaciously, He should be proven. Yes, sir. 
Because you can't be talking about the love of God, talking about the power of God. People come with cancer, they go back with cancer. Yeah, that always gets to me. The that blind come, they me. go back. The oh. lame come, they go back. And we are talking yeah, power. We are talking me. process. Mm -hmm. We are talking pay prizes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Where is the proof? Mm -hmm. mm. I know the place of character mm -hmm. that is formed through process. But what caps it all up is power. Is it tarry in Jerusalem until you are endued with power from on high? Mm -hmm. He said, not many days from now, you shall receive the Holy Ghost and power. And when they went out, he said, the Lord walking with them, mm -hmm. confirming the word with signs and wonders. If there is a gift I want God to give me, is that his word or my mouth should not fall to the ground. Mm -hmm. I thank God for the few, th the few things we see. Thomas vanish. People who can walk, walk. The blind, see, the deaf hear. But we have not possessed this thing. The way the fathers do it from the place of rest, you know this is dominion. Mm -hmm. And that's why they take their word for Jesus. So I want a tangible dimension of God's power that my words will not fall to the ground. And if there's a second gift I desire is to really build God a house. Ah. I'm in Abuja. Abuja oh. is a strange place. Yeah. <laughs> I did ministry largely in Makodi. And places like Makodi, you have little money, you can get a land and start building. Yeah. You now go to Abuja, you see a little piece of land. They say it's a billion naira. And you are wondering, what is the meaning of this? <laughs> Somebody gave us a land, and the land was so waterlogged. <laughs> to make things worse, they told us that it's, it's, a, it's, um, it's not, you can't build a permanent structure. So the way, there's a way Abuja works. It says a garden land, so you can only do tent. And I say, okay, no problem, let's start. But what do we do to manage the foundation? Yeah. We have to raise the foundation to the height of a building. Oh, that wow. in over 40 to 50 million oh, wow. because of the size. Yeah. Then we have to build a retaining wall because there's a water body that passes. Yeah. That's over 18 to 20 million. Then we have to build a mini bridge for cars to pass. That's over 40. So to do foundation and to build access alone yes, is yes. over 120 million. To come and put tent. I say, Kai, <laughs> let's leave that land there first. <laughs> let's leave that. Let's that, leave that project. That the earth is the Lord. <laughs> I'm sure there's another part of land yeah, somewhere. So if there's something I'm looking for, honestly, it's a confession yes, time. Yes, sir. It's for God to give us a befitting land yes, and then sir. empowerment to build a structure so that people Amen. can come. We, we don't Amen. want to start thinking of because yeah. you are renting a tent in Abuja, you are yeah. paying 30 to 40 million yeah. in a year. That's oh. not about not set up yet. Yeah, yeah, true. So you true. need rest. We need that level of rest. <laughs> so that if we want people to pray for seven days, we can yes, come sir. and stay there and pray for seven days. Mm. If we mm. want to do world feast, we mm -hmm. can come there mm -hmm. and teach the word of God non-stop for three days. Mm -hmm. And people are not think we are not thinking yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, we are Our not rented and all of these, that. All these ones there, but still chase so us out. That level of rest. Is what I'm trusting hey, God for. And that was one of our key words, though. A few, a few weeks ago yes. in church, that rest. It's too important. All right. Now, thank you so much for this, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We've taken, uh, I mean, I enjoyed every single part of it. As in, it's like, uh, this is fellowship for me. It's even more than confession because it feels good to know that I'm not the only one going through the exact same thing. Uh. Bro, from another angle, our my engineer is here somewhere. You can hear me right now. He knows what we are dealing with no. with uh, our locations and and trying to move from one place to another. Oh Lord! But no, thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. Um, it's an honor, sir. There's a there's one there's one question we normally ask as well. Um, yeah, one thing you like about me, and one thing you don't like about me. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll close with that one. <laughs> so my producer is shaking his head like, yes, ask that one. I hope I'm not missing anything else. So that, Can no, you imagine? No. I will say my own first. I really love, um, I mean, I love what you're doing. Uh, I love the, the humility as well. Um, and how you, they, they charge I mean, when you come, it's like a sledgehammer just smashing down all day. I'm like, I'm like, yes, yes. You don't even care where you go to. I'm, and I love that Dubai one as well. I'm like, ah, ah, ah. Because some people will get to England and start trying to speak more funny English that they didn't, they were not speaking when before. When I said the spirit of LGBTQ is judged. <laughs> exactly. My people started shaking. Hey, like, oh God. And I love that. I love that. I love I that image. I attacked it aggressively. They said, no, no, no. Don't say it. They'll ban your channel. 
and I was going to be there for another seven days. They said they will arrest you here. Hey, no, 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 <laughs> no, no. So no, I love that, sir. Thank I, you, sir. I've not found anything I dislike yet. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for giving me a, a way to also answer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the truth is, um, I love the way you you really stand up to defend and to personally protect the interest of the Jew. Um, it's, it's, it's sometimes there are people who want to apologize because their fathers are who they are. And so they cower away from some of the personal and sensitive responsibilities they should take. Mm. I think on one of the occasions I saw you was when I think you, you drove to the presidential villa to see the president and I saw that you were there attending to all his personal needs. Yeah. You know, there's a level, there's an age level they get to. These things become so personal. Mm -hmm. So you need somebody who is not just there serving because he's positioned to serve, mm. but somebody who is personal about it mm. so that daddy can last, so that daddy is not overwhelmed, so that daddy is not too stressed mm -hmm. and you have dedicated yourself to seeing that your life is spent to to help preserve him and to preserve him not just for him but for the body of Christ. So that that jealousy in defending his interest and all around the place, it blesses me so much. Mm -hmm. And I think that's one of the blessedness of having a son. Mm -hmm. Because when I also get old, there are things that I can't share with everybody. If I have a son who is there to bear my personal weights and burdens, mm -hmm. it will really be a blessing to me. And so when I see you do these things, truly it blesses my soul and you are unapologetic about it you are sold out to doing it in fact you see it as your own service to the lord yes, it's truly a blessing yes, and i know that you've alighted him of many 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 burdens because so many things he would not even say but you would know mm -hmm. would discern and you do for him you have made old age easy for him mm -hmm. and because it's easy for him we are here being blessed mm -hmm. you know every day so thank you for ah, for for, for hey, doing that. Hey, thank, thank you, you sir, and glory to God, thank sir. You. All to God, sir. <laughs> All to God, sir. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Wow. So on that note, this is confession. Thank you so much for uh for joining us.